Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about dynamic routing in Angular and dynamic routing is very important when you are working with some complex applications such as uh, CRMs, dashboards or admin panels. And how this is useful, how it works, you will get to know in this part. So first we'll understand what is dynamic routing and with dynamic routing I'll give you a demo like what we will achieve in this part so that you can get some basic idea okay so this thing we are going to make in this part and you will understand it better and then for dynamic routing we have to make a component that will be shown as a page and then we have to make dynamic route as well as dynamic links also and at last we'll discuss some important interview question this is the playlist for angular 19 tutorial that will definitely help you out for angular job project and interviews you can uh, access this playlist from description box of this part okay so now the first question what is dynamic routing dynamic routing simply means uh, on the click of links we uh, are moving to the dynamic url for example if i just click on the anil then you can see that now the url at the last of url the two segments are id and name so what is the segment so uh, with the slash uh, you can see that we are separating the segments so here the last segment is anil the second last is one and the another one is user so if i click on the sam you will see the two segments are again different the id of sam and the sam so here you can see that dynamic routing is basically the dynamic urls where we pass the user information or maybe some employee information that could be any kind of information basically and what we'll do with this information see uh, let's say uh, you want you have a user list and you want to check the detail of uh, peter like everything uh, uh, city address salary anything you want to uh, check there then how you can check when you will just, just click on this then uh, this page will be load everything about the uh peter right and we cannot pass all the information through the routes because there will be lots of information and this should not be passed in the url otherwise your application will be little bit slower so what actually we'll do when we click on the peter on the behalf of this id or maybe behalf of the name we are uh, fetching the information from api right and that API will provide the old details like uh, email ID, address, uh, profile photo, salary, uh, company name, everything, whatever you want to get, right? So that's why these uh, dynamic um, uh, URLs are very important or you can say that dynamic routing is very important, all right? And I'm very sure you have seen this in the lots of places. Let me give you one example. Here you can see that uh, uh, slides.com I basically use to make these slides and there this is the uh, deck and there is some id so this is the id of this slide so when i have a list so here you can see that when i just click on the angular tutorials then you will see this will be loaded there right and according to this uh, id that slice.com identify like which slide it has to load and then uh, i just loaded this slide like how this is working right similarly let me go to the slide where we are discussing the dynamic routes right yeah here we go okay so with the similarly uh, when we have the lots of user and we want to check the information of specific user then we create the uh, dynamic routes and on the behalf of id or maybe name we are displaying the information there all right okay so now let me remove all of this code and let's build it from scratch all right so now uh, all data is removed from here and let me create one component with the name of user and that component will be open on the dynamic urls so ng generate component and component name is user here we go okay so now where i want to show this uh, component definitely on the clicks of these users so what i need to do i have to create some user list in the home component and for that i am creating a array there with the name of users and uh, there we have some objects let's say id we have one then name is let's say anil then similarly we have age is let's say 28 then i think three information are fair enough right and let me quickly create some more users 
I'm just copy pasting and changing information there. Okay, so here we have some users. You can see that, right, with the five IDs. Now let me make a loop over the UI. So let me change this text from home page to the uh, user list. And then let me use for loop. And inside this for loop, we will use user of users and where this users come from this this array and now the semicolon we have to track its id so track the every user so i'll use their id because that's it that is a unique so user dot id and then let me let me take a ul outside this and then this code and after that la and inside this i will use their user dot name and here we go all users are listed there so let me make them clickable and i need a link also there and we don't need href let's use their router link and in this router link for now i'm just simply passing the user and they are passing the username but still you can see that they are not click clickable reason is we have to import their router link also here we go right but the user page is not found because component is created but we have to register it in the app.component.ts so let me give a path and that will be uh, let's say um, path will be user only and then component name will be uh, user component like this right and now they are clickable and user page is also perfectly working fine so let me change some text in the user dot html also let me create their h1 tag and let's mention their uh, user page or something right now that will be more better if i just click on this now you can see that this is a user page but data is still not dynamic right so what you need to do first you have to give the dynamic uh, route then go to the route dot routes.ts file and slash then colon id then id is the key on the behalf of this key you can get the id in the user component i'll explain you how this actually work but first just uh, mention the any key whatever you want to put there and then let's go to the uh, edge uh, home dot component dot html and there simply pass the that id user dot id and uh, I click on the home mm, user.id it should work if I click on the anil now you can see that its id in the url and perfectly working fine same for the uh, Peter Tony for everyone this is perfectly working fine but uh, uh, in demo I passed the two things id as well as name how we can pass the name I'll explain you but let's first understand how we can get this id on the user page okay so again go to the user.component.ts file and there let's create a constructor and in this constructor you don't need to write but you have to register the active route there so just use their route colon active activate route yeah and then we are not inheriting this component so if you want you can make it private also that should fine and then we have to use on ng on init uh, this is the part of lifecycle method uh, but we haven't discussed the lifecycle methods in this series so for now you can say that uh, th this function will be automatically called whenever our page will be loaded on the ui all right okay so now just simply use this dot route dot uh, params dot subscribe right in the subscribe you have to take any param uh, maybe data params whatever you want to keep there you can keep and now you can console dot log params and if you will see now let me go to the home clicking on the sam and its id is 2 here you can see that right 2 if i click over there the id is 2 and here we got the id 2 also same if i click on the tony get the id 5 for first one we are getting the id 1 perfect okay so with same way how i can pass the name also and how we can display that name on the user page let me explain 
again go to the app.route.ts and again use slash colon name right so whatever you are passing there you have to put the you will get the same key there also so if i just put their user id then i'll get the user id here all right okay so i'm passing the name and now in the app.component home.component.html simply pass with a slash double curly braces user dot name like this and uh, after that if i click on the anil you can see that name and id both are going in the url and both you'll get there let's try with the tony let's try with the bruce perfect you working fine now uh go to the uh, app.component.ts and let's create one uh, property maybe name and it could be string or it could be null also because if we are not getting anything in the url then it could be null and by default this is an empty string now what you can do this dot name equal to params dot uh, id no name we have to get right because we have two things name and id and we have to get the uh, name there and how we'll get it we we can get it like this only and after that let's go to the this page and you can see that uh, user name is and simply use their name and there we go bruce so let me try with the sam peter tony everything is working fine and let's say you want to get the id also then let's take one more uh, property there id and uh, now let's take id and get id from params and there you can see that user id is id and here we are getting the id also like for tony we have five bruce we have three for anil we have one great so this is how we can use now the question is how we can get dynamic data from url that can be asked in an interview then you can see that we can use active routes and in the active routes we have the param dot subscribe there we'll get the data second thing how we can pass two uh, segments in the url then you can say that in the routes.ts file we have to use this two uh, segment with the colons and that means we are passing the two dynamic data so this is how uh, we can explain the answer of interview question this is my paytm and gpay number for donation these are the things uh, with the help of you can uh, help me out uh, or support me with like subscribe and comment section thanks everyone for watching this part